Hi, this is Mike. I have received several emails and have seen posts where people are trying to locate specific colored cardstock as well as match skin tone. Not only do I have a free skin tone printable color pack available, which I will link below, I am also going to show you how to do your own color matching from a photo as well as how to color match a specific color should you have a hard time locating it. For this tutorial, we will be using Surecuts a lot. I do recommend Surecuts a lot for our Scan and Cut users since Canvas Workspace does not have a print option, and I also recommend this for Cricut users because Design Space does not have a color match feature. This is just one of the many features I love about Surecuts a lot. For additional information on why we recommend Surecuts a lot to Scan and Cut and Cricut users, I do have a link to a video below. In addition, I will have links below to the software, the free downloadable skin color printables, as well as our recommended printer. Please keep in mind, due to screen and printer calibrations, you may not get the exact color you are intending. However, this technique will really help you out when you are in a bind for a specific color. So let's begin. All right, so for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a photo. So this would be a photo that you are trying to match the skin tone on. Uh, this is one that I just found on Google. So I am going to go ahead and click on the trace and I'm going to choose an image and I'm going to find this image. This is just again an image that I found on Google. And the first thing that I want to do is crop. So I'm going to go over here to the edit mode and I'm going to click on crop. Now I'm just going to move this square here. I'm going to make a square or a rectangle, but somewhere that's just sampling the color of skin. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now you want to make sure on the image settings that you have single color and you're going to click this little box to the right of that and it's going to say choose a color in the image. So when you hover over this you're going to see over here all of the um, RGB values are going to change and you're going to get a sampling of the color. So you can see it varies just a little bit, but if you're in a bind, this is a great way to, uh, to grab a color that you need. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now you do just want to make sure that add an image layer down here on the bottom. This is not checked. Um, for additional tutorials on using the trace feature, we do have videos available and they will be linked below in the description box. So I am going to click OK and you're gonna see it looks very rough, but that's okay. So let's just move this off to the side here. Now we wanna go ahead and create our document to print. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on show print margins. And so this is gonna show me what is going to print. Now this is based off of my regular eight and a half by 11 printer. If you needed to set up your printer for a larger format, you would just go to file, page setup, and from this uh, printer dialog box, you can go ahead and change to the printer that you're using as well as change the paper size. But for this example, I'm going to leave it as is. So now I'm gonna go over here to the draw a shape tool and I'm just going to draw a rectangle just inside that. And that is the color that we chose um, on the uh, when we traced the image. So we don't need this any longer. And so really all you would need to do is go to File and Print. You're going to go ahead and send this to your printer. And then you would actually use that page that's been printed as a regular piece of cardstock. Alright, so for the next example, we're going to go ahead and color match a specific color of cardstock. So for this, we're going to head to our website and I will have a link in the description box, but we do have a blog post on the American Crafts AC cardstock pack legend. So I'm going to head in there and if you just scroll through the site, you're going to see that we do have many, many of the colors listed that we use. And so say for example that we were looking for chestnut. Now you can do this in on any computer. Um, if you're using a PC you're going to do control F 
If you're on a Mac, you're going to do Command F. And you're going to see up at the top that a little finder window opens. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Chestnut. And you'll see that it highlighted yellow, or now it is blue. But if I go ahead and click up here again and enter, you'll see that at first <laughs> it highlights yellow and then it turns to blue. So again, just showing you guys what that looks like. So chestnut. So if I go up here and I'm going to see which one of this, which one of these were chestnut. So it looks like chestnut is this one. So let's go ahead and save this. So I'm going to save this to my downloads. And I'm going to open back shortcuts a lot. And I'm going to use the imp or the uh, trace feature again. So we're going to do trace. I'm going to choose an image from my downloads. And that one was here. Let's go ahead and crop this. I just crop this to let's zoom back out really quick. There we go. We're just going to zoom into that spot. Okay. And we're going to do single color. We're going to click on that option and we're going to click. All right. That is highlighted. Again, make sure add image layer is not checked and okay. And so there we have our little spot there. And we just need to draw our shape. And there you go. That will be your color. And you can go ahead and delete this one done.